How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Photoshop video. This one's going to be going over how to make a nice looking thumbnail for YouTube. So let's do it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to file. New. 1280 by 720. 1280 width, 720 height. And name it whatever you'd like. And then leave the rest the same. Make sure these are pixels and not inches. And hit OK. We're going to start out by finding a background image, but if you already have one on your computer, go up to file, place, choose the file you want, and there it is. And then just hit the check mark. But if you have it online, then you could pull it up. Like say we want to use this, click on it, and you can either, you can copy it, go back to your photo shop, I almost said photo P, control V, paste it and there you go or you can go back to the image save image as save it and then place it like I showed you originally we're gonna use this for now I'm going to hit edit free transform because it's not quite big enough to fit the whole thing there we go now we're ready to start making it look good all right, so this part might be kind of tricky for some of you, but if you follow along, you'll be fine. So go to your rectangle tool on the left, click it. You just want to drag it, hold left click, drag it all the way down until you get to the bottom. Then you want to go up to edit, retransform path, and you want to resize it a little bit where it looks like, I'm going to try to make it kind of thin. So I'm going to go to the edge about like that and then you want to right click on the layer and you want to duplicate it by going to duplicate layer okay click your move tool and move it to the other side like that duplicate it again okay then you want to just move it to the center or something and hit edit transform path rotate 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter then move it down and you see how it's only covering half of it I'm going to go up to edit free transform path and you could drag it to make it a little bit bigger where it fills in the rest and just duplicate this layer again hit ok and move it to the top and you're good to go now so now you want to click the top layer hold shift and then click the bottom one so they're all selected they're all blue right click convert to smart object then you want to double click on it and you want to go over to color overlay make sure it's completely white by clicking on this box if it's not dragging it all the way to the white and then hitting ok then you want to convert it to a smart object again you want to right click the layer convert to a smart object Double click on it and you want to go to color overlay or no, actually you just want to go to the blending options and change it to overlay. So now you can see it looks really nice. And if you want to add a drop shadow, go down to drop shadow, check that box, turn the opacity up. If you want distance, let's leave the distance like that of around three, turn the spread and size up a little bit just so you can get that nice border look. So I have three distance, 18 spread, and nine size. I just hit OK, and we got this so far, so it's looking really good. Just keep following along, we'll be done soon. All right, now you want to go to Google. And if you want to find an image like this, I looked up YouTube logo PNG. I'm just going to copy that image. Go back to Photoshop, Control V, and now it's in. So you see the black outline? That's annoying. I'm sure you guys have dealt with this before. You just want to go to your magic wand tool right here. Click the black area and hit delete. That's literally it. And there you go. Now you got the YouTube logo by itself. It's really nice. I want to make it a little bigger. So I'm going to go up to edit, free transform, hold shift while I drag it up to be bigger. And I'm going to move it here. All right. So what I'm going to do now to the background is I'm going to click the background layer. I'm going to go up to filter, 
going to go to blur box blur i'm just going to blur it a little bit i want to make it around one maybe two yeah i'll leave it at two just hit okay i'm going to move the youtube logo to the center so i'm going to click on layer one which is the youtube logo i'm going to move it to the center i'm going to double click on it i'm going to try to make it look like the background so i'm going to go to gradient overlay check that box change the blend mode to multiply i'm going to click in this box right here with the colors and i'm going to double click on the black one and turn it to a different color like i could do pink because it's like the bottom and then blue for the top so i'll do like a light blue hit okay and now it should look like this now i'm just gonna hit okay and then i'm gonna change the blend mode to color dodge instead of multiply and that's a pretty good start so far so i'm gonna go to stroke add a black stroke around it that's three size black opacity 100 keep that the same and this should do it for now so just hit okay go to the layer of the youtube logo right click on it convert it to a smart object double click on it go to the stroke make sure the color is actually white and set a black and i'm going to double the stroke so it was three so i'm going to make it six change the blend mode to overlay and there you go that looks pretty good but i'm also going to add a drop shadow so i'm going to click the drop shadow box turn the opacity to 100 change the blend mode to normal change the distance a little bit spread size turn it up I'm going to turn the size down to zero and just turn the distance up a little bit. The distance is 23, spread is 45, size is zero, and hit OK. So it has like a nice little 3D look to it, which is what I'm going for. Now I'm just going to move it up a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to move it to the center a little bit. And now we're ready to move on to the text. I'm going to go over to the text right here on the toolbar, click it. Move my mouse somewhere on the canvas and the text is massive right now. So I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to type in 200. See how big that is. Still huge. I'm going to go to 100. That's a little bit better. So I'm just going to type in. Awesome. Or no, I'm going to type in professional. And hit that check mark. Go to my move tool, move it over. I don't like this, but I'm going to change the font by highlighting it. Going up to the text right up here. I'm going to find a different font so we could try. So it's pretty cool. But I don't know if I want to use that actually. I want to use. There's like a Star Wars one. Um, I got the custom ones. There was one custom one I was going to use in particular, but I don't remember. I'll come back whenever I figure out which one it was. All right, so I figured out which one it was. A-Z-O-N-I-X, I think that might be a custom one, but I'm just gonna choose that one. And I have a video on how to get custom fonts. Check it out, it's like one of my latest videos. I'm just gonna hit the check mark after I go to the create warped text button. Style, click that box, choose arc. And you can adjust bend so like that I'm gonna do a plus 11 bend hit okay I'm just going to drag this down like that so now I'm gonna make it look good so I'm gonna double click on the text layer I'm going to go to the gradient I'm going to make the black not as strong so I'm gonna add another one of these little tick things by just clicking anywhere below it I'm gonna move it over to about here Double click on it, move it up to white, and you can like adjust it to about like that. And you can choose the uh, scale. So I'm going to turn the scale all the way up to 150. And that should be pretty good. I could change the color of it if I want 
to like a, I could do a light blue, which that looks pretty cool. It kind of matches the background. Or we could go with yellow, red, whatever color you guys want to go with. I'm going to go with this color and hit okay. Now I'm going to go to inner glow, choose white for the color by clicking on that box. Change the blend mode to normal. I'm going to turn the opacity up. Choke in size. Should be good. I'm going to have stroke on it. That's black. I'm going to leave it at three and just hit OK. I'm going to create it as a... I'm going to convert it to a smart object by right clicking on it. Clicking convert smart object. Double clicking on it again. I'm going to go back to the stroke like we did with the YouTube logo. I'm going to change it to six size. Change the blend mode to overlay. After I turn this up to white. Actually, the size could probably go down a little bit. Yeah, about four looks good. And now we need to have the bottom one. So I'm going to type in I go into the type tool. I'm going to type in YouTube or banner. I don't know, what am I making? I don't even know what my video is about. Thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Totally forgot what my video was about. It's a little small, so I'm going to highlight it. Type in 150. All right. I'm going to hit that check mark. Move it over to the center a little more. And what I could do, I could highlight it, go to the warp again. Arc it. But instead, this time I could like bend it down a little bit. I could add like some horizontal distortion, some vertical distortion. Like that. Eh, not a fan, not a fan. I'm going to go back to my history right up here. Go back to wherever it's this button right here. Go back to where I was last at. And I think I'm just going to arc it a little bit. I'm going to bend it. Hit OK. It was negative five, I believe. And I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing I did with this up here. So I'm just going to double click on it. Go to gradient overlay. Change the color. I think I could probably go with a different color this time. I could maybe do. Uh, I'll just stick with. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Purple. You can do purple. I'm doing like the exact same thing I did last time. But actually I'm going to change this one to white. So. If you feel like I'm going too fast, just go back to when I did the first one. You can see it. Okay. Turn the scale up to around 150. Go up to stroke. Have a black stroke. Nice. Okay. Inner glow. Click that. Instead of white, I could try maybe like um, a reddish. Change the blend mode to normal. Turn the opacity up. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty decent. around two choke and three size that should be good there's actually one thing i forgot to add on this tag so we're going to go back to the professional double click on it drop shadow change it the blend mode to normal turn the opacity up distance and size i'm gonna choose 11 distance 13 spread and nine size so look at that looks pretty nice we're gonna go back to thumbnail we were working on this before. Um, I think it's ready to convert it. So I'm just going to right click on it. Convert to smart object. Double click on it. Go to the stroke. Again, like we did last time. I'm going to turn it to white. And change the blend mode to overlay. Nice. I can maybe get away with turning it up a little bit. Yeah, about four works. I'm going to add a drop shadow as well, like we did with the last one. Change it to normal. Opacity, distance, and stuff like we did last time. 
I'm going to make the distance a little closer, though. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But it might not stand out enough. So let's make this drop shadow a little bit bigger. Yeah, that works. Whoa, that's interesting. All right. Um, I think that should be good. And you can also add, let's change the background a little bit. Let's go up to image. You click on the background adjustments. Uh, I can't cause it's not rasterized. So you got to right click on it. Rasterize layer. Now it's rasterized. Go back to image. Adjustments, brightness, brightness, contrast. Adjust it for your liking. About 26 brightness, 24 contrast. I'm going to go back up. Image, adjustments, vibrance. You know, you can turn it all the way up, but why would you want to do that? Your eyes are going to get destroyed. So you could turn it up to however much you like it. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of other things we could add to it. I'm going to go up to filter, sharpen, and just sharpen the background a bit. And I think that's good. Maybe I could, uh, nah, there's so much you can do, but this is a good start. You guys can make something cool out of this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.